हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लुक माना एस सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट सिविल सर्विसेज फ्रेंड्स दिस इज इन फैक्ट वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वीडियोस अमंग द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू पोस्ट इन द कमिंग फ्यू डेज एंड आवर पर्पज इज टू टेल यू अबाउट द सिविल सर्विसेज इट्स एग्जामिनेशन एंड रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस द स्ट्रैटी फॉर प्रिपेरेशन एट्सेट्रा दिस इज बिकॉज फ्रेंड्स वी फर्स्ट नीड टू नो these things before starting our preparation so knowing about these things at the very beginning itself is very much important friends that's why we have decided we have planned to bring before you a series of videos and in that series of videos we will be telling you about the civil services its examination the various strategies all these things friends so in that process let us uh, have some introduction about the civil services friends so the introduction uh, when we see सिविल सर्विसेज इन इंडिया सो इन जनरल इट मीन्स रिक्रूटमेंट थ्रू द सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन इज कंडक्टेड एट द सेंट्रल लेवल बाई यू पी एस सी यूनियन पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन एंड एट द स्टेट लेवल बाई स्टेट पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन एंड इफ वी स्पीक अबाउट यू पी एस सी देन द ऑफिसर्स द सर्विसेज दैट फॉर विच द ऑफिसर्स आर सेलेक्टेड दिस इंक्लूड्स द इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस इंडियन पुलिस सर्विस इंडियन रेवेन्यू सर्विस इंडियन फॉरन सर्विस एंड मेनी अदर्स दिज आर द वेरियस सर्विसेज एंड द टॉप रैंकर्स इन जनरल सेलेक्ट फॉर आई ए एस आई पी एस एंड आई एफ एस फ्रेंड्स दिज पीपल वाइल हैविंग देयर करियर इन दैट सर्विस दे अकुपाई वेरियस ऑफिसज एंड दे प्ले वेरियस रोल्स इन डिफरेंट कैपेसिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी टेक आई एस इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस देन डैट पर्सन सर्व्स एज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट देन आफ्टर प्रमोशन he or she goes to the secretary or chief secretary level and the cabinet secretary at the central level is the highest post for that ias similarly for ips it is the superintendent of police at the, at the district level then again the dig ig adg and then the dgp these are various ranks for those people so these are uh, services and the examination for this all these uh, we are going to have in our discussion in this video and in the coming videos also Uh, now friends let us see the beginning of civil service in india in fact civil services in india is a colonial legacy and it was established by lord cornwallis in 1793 and that's why he is also known as the father of british indian civil services and friends bipin chandra in modern history has also written that during that time indian civil services was the highest paid service in the world not in india in the world at that time but uh, during that period 1793 to 1853 uh, it was not uh, recruited uh, the recruitment process was not through the merit system but after 1853 we uh, got this merit system also uh, on the recommendations of this Mac macule committee and in fact friends this civil services also came to be characterized as steel frame steel frame that, that is the basis on which the whole governance is lying so this is how the civil services in india began but uh, the role of civil services if we speak about then it has at least two in uh, two broad ways we can define it one is the during british india and one is the post british india so before uh, independence when there was british india the role of civil services was largely three one is the law and order administration and in that capacity he is the chief officer of the district then the revenue administration in that capacity known as the collector and then in judicial administration also and in that capacity known as the district magistrate if we speak about the indian administrative service the dm uh, of the present day but the purpose was to strengthen the, and consolidate the british administration in india so it was from the side of through the prism of the british empire to make it even stronger so this was the role of civil services in india uh, but when we got independence then this legacy of british uh, civil services continued and in fact we uh, replaced this indian civil services that was called ics during that time uh, by ias indian administrative service and the recruitment process now shifted to upsc and uh, we are talking about ias in general but at a state level also there is administrative service now this cse civil services examination uh, that is conducted by upsc that came to be the main examination for recruiting ias and also ips and uh, friends here we must tell you that in fact in india there are three types of services uh, which are among the highest this is the all india services that is uh, indian administrative service indian police service and indian forest service 
and then we have central civil services for example indian foreign service uh, indian revenue service and also at a state level there is civil services that is uh, recruited by state public service commission for administration and police services now friends uh, if we come to the role of civil services in post independence india then we will see that some of the role uh, that was there in the british uh, period british time that continued as such but uh, there is even more addition to the role of civil services and also some transformation in the way they have to uh, play their role uh, we will see these things also while our preparation stays uh, during the preparation itself when we will study the role of civil services in democracy but for this period friends uh, we can see that the role of civil services in post independence india continued to maintenance of the law and order security all these things but now there are also some more things to be added that is welfareism to ensure the social justice and to bring the socio economic transformation uh, in india and to strengthen the foundation of democracy and that's why now the civil services is largely from the side of the citizens that is how to empower the citizens how to ensure a decent standard of living to the citizens how to ensure the progress and prosperity of the citizens because now we are in a democracy and citizens are masters in the democracy so the role of civil services uh, should be now seen through the prism of citizen and the people so this is one very uh, big change uh, in the role of civil services and one good example that we can cite out is the official secrets act uh, during british uh, time civil services was characterized by op uh, opacity that means there was a um, lack of transparency and things were kept confidential because it was from the side of government but now civil services has to be uh, more transparent and that's why there is right to information act so we can see how the role of civil services has changed from being on the side of this uh, uh, through the prism of this uh, um, gov government to see things from the side of citizens yet uh, the role of civil services cannot be denied uh, from the side of uh, governance that they should uh, maintain the law and order security and all these things friends uh, that's why there is significance of civil services uh, when we have that we have uh, seen in the last slab and seeing that uh, significance of civil services sardar patel also remarked that if we want to have united india we must have an all india services you also remarked the civil services as, as the steel frame of india that is the basis that is the shape and size on which the whole governance of the country is lying and that's why it is also one of the main pillar of the indian democracy uh, for example we can see uh, election commission that constitutes of indian administrative service people then similarly in the uh, district the election process is done by the dm district magistrate who is the ias officer and not only about the condu conduct of elections but also about various other aspects of indian democracy social social democracy economic democracy uh, that we will study in directive principles of state policy that are to be implemented through these agencies only and uh, friends in the presently ongoing covid-19 crisis also we can see how these people uh, this dm and sp ias and ips officers posted at the district level they are serving uh to the society to the people selflessly for example uh, by implementing the lockdown by ensuring the essential supplies to the people by ensuring that no people goes to the bed uh, empty stomach that is to ensure the food security also many things are being done uh, this is at the field level but also at the decision making level they are advising the government and uh, in the policy making and various roles are being played at that level also so the civil services is very much important for our country its progress and its prosperity that's why friends if we conclude civil services in india enjoy a very good appeal in society because it's very much challenging dynamic and also gives a direct opportunity to, to serve the society its people and our country and that's why ias is considered as one of the most prestigious service in india because it enjoys power it enjoys a status popularity in fact you know uh, we can see that in our district the dm uh, is the chief person and every citizen of that district looks to the dm for his or her problems to be solved so friends we can see how prestigious this uh, uh, service is in fact civil services provides opportunity to every young talented uh, candidates to fulfill their dream to serve the nation 
because it has huge opportunity to serve the nation and uh, in fact it also gives an opportunity to the young uh, people to become an entrepreneur at the very young age because the day they are into the service um, uh, meaning that after uh, training and uh, then they are when they are posted thousands of people are working under them under their guidance under their leadership and that work of that person uh, in the civil services determines the life of lakhs of people that's why it is a very good service uh, we can see how appealing it is and that's why friends we uh, of course we want to join this most coveted uh, service uh, so friends this was all about the civil services we tried to bring it uh, to you in um, a very small time so the next video that we are going to upload uh, will be about the pattern of the examination and then we will follow the strategy and various other things friends hope you enjoyed this friends and uh, please uh, don't forget to give your comments thank you so much friends